Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a video about tanning. If you've gone to my channel, um, you'll see that I'm a qualified therapist and I just completed a degree um, in beauty therapy and health studies, so I'm quite experienced with tanning, not just myself, um, but clients, and I've used and been trained in many different brands and tried out so many, um, because I love a good fake tan. So you can rest assured that I've tried so many, um, there are not many about, out there that I haven't tried, and this is my open and honest review. Um, I'm not supported by any brands or um, sent any products, nothing. This is just what I've purchased with my money and what I believe works. Number one, choose the right product for you. For me personally, my favourite is Zentan Dark Lotion. Um, it's a light, buildable tan that has never left me streaky. I can blend out, build up into a deeper, darker tan. Works well on my hands, feet, face, etc, etc. So this is what I like to use. And I purchased this from feelunique.com and I'll put the link in the down bar. Um, but you can choose any brand, any type, mousse, cream, gel, spray, any kind that you like. Works for your skin type, go ahead and use that. For my face, I generally don't like to put fake tan on it unless I'm really pale in the winter and I have good skin. Because if I have spots or dry patchy skin or, or, or anything, um, I would just prefer to not fake tan my face because my face skin is very different to my body and it's way more volatile and reactive. So on my face, so that it matches my body, I moisturise as normal in the morning and then I pop on this. And this is the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze One Day Tinted Gel which was washes off. Um, and it looks like this in the bottle with a little pump dispenser and I will just show you I will just blend that out it's a really light um, almost gel like consistency and you can see this one has got it on and this one doesn't so it just enhances your, your natural colour and gives you a bronzed tint and I use that on my face and just blend it into my neck normally one pump of this will do my whole face and my last favourite tanning product is um, the Dove Gradual Tanner and this is Dove Summer Glow and I use medium to dark just so that um, if I'm doing the Zen Tan once a week or once every two weeks then I use this every other day normally um, or every three days on my body just to keep my tan topped up and to keep nice and moisturised. Exfoliate. Exfoliate in the right way. I don't agree with going in the bath, soaking for a long time, pruning up so that your your skin's absorbed a lot of moisture, exfoliating with maybe a scrub that can that is salt and oil. A salt oil scrub in a tub is not going to be good before you tan because no matter what you say, a film of oil is going to be on your skin. And I don't agree with that if you do it in the shower or if you do it in the bath. I just don't recommend it. I recommend that you use um, exfoliating gloves. They're really cheap. You can buy them from any pharmacy or drugstore. And that you use that with a shower gel soapy type product that does not contain any oil. Um, if it contains essential oils, that's fine, most will for fragrance, but, um, you know, if the bulk of the product is oil, that's going to leave a film on your skin and could make for an uneven tan. Completely dry, be towel dry. What I do is I don't moisturise any part of my body, not my elbows, not my knees, not my feet, not my hands, nothing. But I will moisturise my face. Secondly, if I have a really bad spot, or if I have a scab or a scratch or something, like a spot that's healing, um, I will always dab concealer on that part. And I know you're going to sleep in it and you're not meant to sleep in makeup, but I would much rather have a layer of concealer, a layer of moisturiser and concealer, so that when I swipe on my 
um, fake tan, it's not going to stick to that area. It's gonna, not going to stick to that scab so that when you wake up in the morning, that spot that was fading, nearly healing, um, you know, dry skin is so much more darker than the rest of your face. And I also recommend that you conceal around the little corners of your nose. When applying your tan, apply it systematically and carefully. Don't be like, if you're going to fake tan, don't be slapdash. There's no point. Don't do it in a rush. Don't do it when you're tired. Do it in good light and do it systematically. That is why I like fake tanners with a pump because if I'm going to do, I can easily think. I want one pump for the whole of my arm. I want one pump from, you know, underneath my knee all the way down onto my foot. So do it like that systematically. What, what you do on one side, do on the other side. Tackle the hard areas last. Then I will do my face and then lastly I will do my hands. And that is because I wear gloves. These are powder free gloves that you can buy from any hair and beauty supply, probably pharmacy. And I wear these and these are tight. So I've done everywhere else on my body and last up I'm about to do my hands. Keep in mind that when you're doing your arms, I go to here. I don't bunch this up and go to here because this, these bony areas of your wrist right here is, is normally somewhere that is going to stick because you wash your hands so much more, your hands just tend to be drier than your arm. So I fake tan up until this point and then I take off my glove to here and do a pump and pump it all over my hand and then take it off and then further blend it onto the tops of my fingers and I cover my entire hand I'm, I don't leave gaps here I don't leave here I just do my whole hand it's all uniform and if it's a good fake tanner and you keep your skin well hydrated normally it's not gonna you're not gonna have orange palms I don't have orange palms I don't have streaks in between my fingers my hands are good the next day when you go to wash off your tan don't go and soak in the bath, don't go and scrub your body or scrub your face. What you want to do is get in the shower and just let the water flow over you and let the tan just drain off. Don't then get shower gel and be rubbing all your arms and really washing it really good because that's just going to dilute the tan and you're going to wash a lot off in that first day when you want to be your darkest. After you have rinsed off your tan, make sure you moisturise your face and all of your body well. Um, I ideally like to use um, Lizelle Super Skin Body Moisturiser and then on alternate days or once every three days I will use the Dove Gradual Tan. It's just You can use any gradual tanner you like, that's just the one I like. And this just keeps my tan topped up, um, doesn't streak, doesn't go funny, I don't get really dry patches. And it just keeps, it just maintains my tan so I don't have to do, you know, exfoliating, wearing gloves, staying up late, doing my tanner, taking ages, like all the time, like every four or five days. Good luck. If you love fake tanning, go for it. I don't, you know, I'm, I don't really care about being a typical orange beauty therapist. I'm not orange. I like having a tan year round. It doesn't bother me. And you know what, I never get anybody say to me, oh my God, you look so brown, you look awful, you look dirty. All I get is, in photos, oh, you make me look so pale. And I just think, well, yeah, because I faked hair. And um, if you like it, go for it. If you love your pale, natural skin, then rock that as well. I hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the down bar and I'll answer them um, quite quickly actually, I normally answer them, um, and I'll just answer them to the best of my ability. Um, so check out the information in the down bar, write some comments, you could do a video response, and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye guys!